Hi everybody and welcome back. Guess who's here? It's Darcy from Opulent Habits. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. Um, we just had our third baby, so now we have three children, three and under. So it's been absolutely crazy. I haven't had any time to do anything, but I have been thinking about all of my subscribers and everybody who tunes in to see my videos. And I've been wanting to do one for such a long time, and I finally got a free moment right now. So today I'm going to do a mini and wallet on a chain handbag size in comparison video um, we are filming now indoors surprise <coughs> everybody um, some people had mixed feelings about me filming outdoors some people really liked it and some people were confused by it um, so let's get started today with the mini and wallet on a chain handbag size and comparison video I'm gonna start off with the extra mini um, actually in the so black chevron lambskin which is very rare and we're lucky to have one here right now it's currently available at opulenthabits.com um, please check out our new website my employee Olivia has been spending a lot of time making it very pretty and so this is the extra mini it's a really really cute bag I think it's a great size um, this would be the iPhone 7 so you can kind of get a comparison on your phone and how big it would be in it uh, it does fit it and you could still have a lip gloss and something else in it for me I think it's a really cute bag to wear for date night um, it's not too big so you're not holding too much so this is the extra mini on I think it hits at the uh, right length for me it's perfect at my hip um, you could put it in front as well and I think it's a really great piece to wear when you're going out at night um, to show you how it would look compared to the square mini the square mini is actually pretty big compared to the mini um, if it's in the extra small version so let's bring these both up so you can see them side by side. So this is the new square mini that they make. As you can see, um, you know, when it's next to the extra mini, it's definitely taller, a little bit wider, and it's definitely bigger. Um, probably about the same length, but you're getting a little bit more height and a little bit more width. Now, in the vintage square minis, um, they were a little bit smaller, and, um, you know, there's a little bit of a size difference with them. I don't have one here right now to show you guys a comparison of it, but this is the square mini. So here is the square mini on. As you can see, it hits a little bit higher than the extra um, mini rectangular, and it's a little bit higher. I think it's still a great length. You can wear a crossbody. If you are interested, please email us. Um, all of my bags are guaranteed authentic, and they are mostly all in very good condition. So. Now let's show you the extra small rectangular mini in the So Black Lambskin. Beautiful piece compared to the regular rectangular mini that's currently being produced. This one is dark gray. I love this bag because it actually looks, you know, black in some lighting um, and gray in other lighting. And I think it's just a beautiful mini, um, you know, that really kind of camouflages depending on where you're wearing it and what the lighting is. You could see this regular rectangular mini is taller um, and wider. It holds more. Um, and let's see it just, you know, side by side like this. Okay, so as you see, it easily fits a iPhone 7 and a lot of room to spare. So here is the uh, regular rectangle, rectangular mini. And this is what she looks like on this one. Hits lower than the square mini. Very comparable to the extra um, small mini that I showed you a few minutes ago. And I love this bag. This is probably my favorite favorite mini on um, um, this bag is new never worn and she is a great deal so if you are looking for a rectangular mini in dark gray which is rare um, feel free to reach out to us as you can see the square mini appears to appears to be a little bit higher um, and maybe the same amount of width, maybe just a little bit more wide. Um, it's definitely not as long as the regular rectangle is. You can see 
when I put it in front that the regular rectangle is a lot longer um, and therefore you can fit more in it but the square is just as nice and comparable there you guys go and I wanted to show you guys um, a few different rectangle rectangular minis that I currently have in right now um, this is the regular caviar this is labeled um, green uh, calf skin and this is still considered caviar to a lot of the handbag lovers. Um, this one has the larger stitching, so I don't know if you can see that, but this is the regular stitching, and this is the wider stitching. Some people prefer it, some people don't. It's just a personal preference. Um, this would be ruthenium hardware, so you could get an idea of what ruthenium looks like. Okay. I do think that this classic one is puffier than this one with the wider stitching. Um, but again, these are both the same size. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this beautiful light pink lambskin mini that we just got in, um, 2017 Cruise. Uh, it's got the light gold hardware, it's so beautiful. It has the blue sticker still on the front, and it still has her tag attached, she's gorgeous. If I but let me show you. Lambskin is a smooth and soft leather. It's very beautiful um, and feels great to touch. It's actually a more luxurious leather. Um, and this is the caviar. So you could see the comparison on the two. Again, the classic rectangular mini classic flap. Now, this is the boy wallet on a chain. There you guys go in black caviar with gold hardware. I wanted to show you guys the difference in sizing between a wallet on a chain and this is the extra mini classic flap. Wallet on a chain is a great option for somebody who's just carrying just a phone and credit cards. Um, you're not going to be able to fit a ton in here. They do expand so uh, you know when you when you kind of open it up you can fit a little bit more but for the most part, these are not meant to be overstuffed and filled with a ton of things. You know, you could actually have a wallet on a chain. You could put it inside your Jumbo or inside your Maxi. Um, and then when you have to go into the store or something and you don't want to carry the large bag, um, you could just take out the wallet on a chain and you could just wear this. It's a really practical piece. Now, this hangs pretty long. It's longer than the um, classic rectangular flap. I'm just going to kind of layer on the bags right now so you can see how they hang and the difference in the height. I know this looks ridiculous but for somebody who really doesn't know which bag um, is going to fit them better, if you're really tall or really short, this might really help you. Um, the wallet on a chain hangs the longest. Then the regular rectangular, then the square. Now I'm going to show you guys the classic wallet on a chain in red with ruthenium. How beautiful is she? Look at that sheen. Now the boy wallet on a chain and the classic wallet on a chain both hit at the same length. These are great for women if you're tall. Um, I'm not. I'm only 5'3". So for me these are a little bit long but like let's say you have a sweater on or a jacket on um, you know it's going to go up a little bit because you're wearing more clothing um, and at that point I think for me it would hit at a really great length. Okay so now I'm going to show you the classic wallet on a chain compared to the square mini. Okay as you can see the wallet on a chain is a little bit longer, a little bit higher, but not much. Really quite similar, just not as wide. Now this is patent leather, that's why it's so shiny. It's got the sheen on top of it, um, and it's great if you get you know a little liquid on it, you could wipe it right off, but patent leather does tend to get these random black spots on it. This one doesn't have any. It could be caused from humidity. Um, storage, I don't know why, but you have to be careful with your patent leather and also careful of color transfer. If you wear it against something dark that's uh, shedding or, you know, the color is not fully in the clothing um, and it's rubbing off, it might come off onto actually any of your bags. So please be careful with your handbags. You know, so sometimes Chanel puts out bags that are hybrids of the minis. 
Um, and it's a fashion bag, um, but I love this bag. It's a great mini. It's bigger than the square. Get the square for you. So it fits a little bit more. It's taller. It's not as wide, but it is a little bit longer. And um, I love this piece, and I love the gold hardware on it. This bag is from 2016 Cruise. It's a grain calfskin. And it's a hybrid again. It's just a fashion bag, so it doesn't have, I'm sure it has an official name, but it's not one of the classic pieces that they make every single season or every single year, and they keep bringing it back. Um, I love the length that this one hits at. It's perfect for me at 5'3". Um, it's not as long as the wallet on a chain, but it's right around the same length as the rectang rectangular mini. Um, the chain on this piece is actually smaller than the chain on the regular classics. And it makes it a little bit lighter. Um, and I just think it's a fun option. I think, you know, once you have the classics, you know, in the right regular rectangular or the regular square, or even if you don't and you just want something that's a little bit different so you kind of stand out and you're a little unique and you're not, you know, just wearing the classic pieces, I think this is a great option and it's always great to check, you know, their fashion pieces that they're putting out because you might find something that suits your personality better than, you know, the standard classic flap. Um, something a little bit more unique. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, just a little overview of what we talked about today. We did a sizing comparison on the extra small rectangular mini classic, the regular rectangular mini classic, um, the regular classic wallet on a chain, as well as the caviar boy wallet on a chain. Um, we even threw in a fashion uh, square mini and um, another rectangular classic mini. This one had the wider stitching um, from 2016. Uh, and we, you know, discussed a little bit about leathers uh, and hardware. Um, and I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it helps somebody figure out what size they need, which one they're going to be on the hunt for. If you are looking for a specific one, feel free to reach out to us at opulenthabits at gmail.com or opulenthabits.com on our website. You can fill out a form. Let us know what you're looking for. We can personal shop for it for you. We can also help you consign your bags. If you have old bags that you no longer use um, that are just taking up room in your closet, feel free to reach out to us. You can send them in. We'll do beautiful photos on Instagram that you can view at Opulent Habits on Instagram um, and we can do our very best to help get it sold so you can recycle that money and put it into a new handbag. I really appreciate you all tuning in and taking the time out of your day to watch. I hope that this helped and uh, again if you like any of the bags that you saw here feel free to reach out to us. They are all available and I just want to say thank you guys so much. I love you all. Mwah. I hope you have a good day and I hope you have lots of Chanel in your life.